Looking to trade your old bulk for some of the latest Pokemon booster boxes? Well, check ccgcastle.com. The process is very simple. Send in 1400 cards and get a brand new sealed booster box back. We ship boxes worldwide for free once we get your cards. Make sure to check video description or check ccgcastle.com for more information. Welcome everybody back to the Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video we'll be looking at something very interesting and extremely cheap. So this is the deck for the upcoming standard format. Um, as you can see, I'm playing Alola Ninetales with a little bit help of Alola Ninetales GX. But we're gonna take a look first at the Alola Ninetales from the Burning Shadows. Luminous Barrier ability can prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by opponent, Pokemon GX or EX. Um, Aurora Beam can go for like a 80 um, with Water Energy and Double Core's Energy, of course. It's not that expensive. Attack cost, especially with the Aqua Patch. Um, with, with Aqua Patch, we can easily power up that um, Aurora Beam and hit for like 80, 110 with the Choice Band. So that's the most important um, part of the story in this build. Um, with those Ninetals around, I can start to count how many decks will have probably auto loss against Ninetals. Um, Vulcanion. Um, Tapu Koko probably if there's if they're not gonna attack those Raikus. Um, Metagross GX. Um, even Goldisapa GX can have nearly hard matchup to beat that, especially if they're not gonna attack Zoroarks. Drampa Garbador, probably not because of the Garbador. Um, my personal opinion, but even those decks will have hard times beating that Ninetales. So definitely Ninetales is a very disruptive card once we are gonna lose that Hex Maniac after rotation. So that's that's just pretty much it. I mean, yeah, completely Garbodor will have pretty good matchup actually because of the uh, Garbotoxin ability. 13 Pokemon, 36 Trainer cards, 11 energies. A um, little bit different list, a little bit weird list. I'm still experimenting with the deck list. So as for example, if you don't feel comfortable with the deck list, you can always tweak something like minus one Brooklyn Hill, plus one Guzma, minus one energy, plus one enhanced hammer, and then you can even have more flexibilities um, and uh, stuff like that, you know, in order to um, change deck, tweak it to see what's gonna be the best. Uh, but overall, I feel comfortable playing two Guzmas and three Brooklet Heels, mainly because I really want to set up as many Ninetales as I can play. Um, four Crushing Hammers and one Enhanced Hammer are very important. They are very disruptive cards. I mean, if you can if you can prevent your opponent GX and EX from attacking, and if you can just discard energies from the other Pokemon that are going to be non-GX attackers or EX attackers, well, you will definitely have a um, good time, and your opponent will have a hard time finding a way to beat um, your deck. So yeah, definitely some changes can can still be made. Um, that can still be improved. But how it looks right now, I definitely like it. So um, also there is one Tapu Koko for that Guzma Fly Flip, um, even Fly Flip uh, attack, but mainly for the Guzma Retreat because of the free retreat. Um, one Ninetales GX who can actually survive a lot of damage counters, a lot of punishment. Uh, it, it, he, a lot of Ninetales GX can take like 200 damage counters and then it can easily recover with the Ice Pet GX. So I kind of like that. Blizzard Edge can also be very good attack for like 160, 190 with the Choice Band. We can also spread some damage counters to the batch with the Ice Blade. Um, of course, two Octillaries for a Beazle Hand and Drow Support more than enough. Uh, especially for the late game when our opponent can think about adding our down to one card but he'll have still hard time if we have that artillery we can easily recover so uh, in addition to those cards I'm running four aqua patches four crushing hammers one enhanced hammer as I mentioned at the beginning of the video you can still tweak some of the cards so you can have more disruption um, you can even think about taking maybe two delinquents, um, as for example. Delinquents can also help a lot to discard some of the cards from your opponent hand in order to discard stadium, so I also like that. Um, two field blowers, of course, um, running two copies of Rescue Stretchers and four Ultra Bolts. Um, very good stadium, which is a Brooklyn Hill. Um, Brooklyn Hill can actually help us a lot without discarding um, cards from our hand, mainly item cards to search our deck for the water Pokemons and set them up. Two Guzmas, of course, it's the same as the Lysander and Switch in, in, this, in the one card. Um, very interesting tech right here is a Mellow. 
Um, mainly because I'm running artillery, Mellow have a lot of sense. Basically, with the Mellow, I can search my deck for the two cards and put them on the top of my deck. Those two cards can be, for example, to enhance hammers if we run to enhance hammers, and we can just play boom boom to enhance hammers in a single turn and discard two special energies from our opponent Pokemon's in play and disrupt that and disrupt him pretty much easily. Um, we can also pick Aqua Patch and Double Core's energy, and we can just power up our Lone Ninetales GX or another Ninetales, or we can go for the Floatstone, uh, Field Blow, or Rescue Stretch, whatever we need at that um, moment of the game. Of course, four ends and four Sycamores for the draw support, and in addition to that, I decided to go with two Choice Bands and two Floatstones. Really don't need more than that, and 11 energies, four DCEs, and seven regular basic water energies. As I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, you can just cut something like this and that can also look like this um, with a little bit more disruptions um, with two enhanced hammers and three guzmas and four crushing hammers that can be more disruptive but with one crushing hammer with one brooklyn hill more and with one guzma less and one energy that can be a little bit more consistent um, so you can just pick between uh, between consistency or uh, more control uh, over your opponent is just up to you i like to play somewhere in the middle you know so i can have balanced consistency of the energy attachment and the uh, draw support and setup and also um, controlling my opponent energies and pokemons in play um, so yeah that's pretty much it for the deck introduction if you're looking for any of these cards make sure to check ccgcastle.com um, link is provided in my video description in case if you're new to the channel uh, you can trade your bulk you can uh, um, buy singles, sealed products. Um, you can also get 5% discount on your first purchase with TCG Center 5 code. So, everything you need to know is provided in my video description. Um, cards can be shipped worldwide. So, yeah, make sure to check that. It's definitely very great, um, uh, especially for the new players because the prices are very cheap. So, let's do some game tests so you can actually see how this deck works in action. Uh, make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for, uh, for more videos if you already didn't. Also, let me know in the comments below what you think about this deck. So, see you in the game. Okay, so starting with one copy of Vulpix here. Pretty much nothing else in my opening hand. Means only one thing. Time for energy attachment and time to pass my turn and hope for the best. I mean, yeah, Fomentus can definitely rapidly evolve turn one into the Lorantus. Lorantus can strike for like a 40. And whew, looks like my opponent decided to place that N. Well, that N will change things definitely. All right, there is one Brooklyn Hill, a Guzma, a Mallow, and Ultra Ball, and a Rescue Stretcher. So I'm definitely gonna play that Ultra Ball for something. Or maybe I don't even need to do that. Oh, Wimpot. Oh, this is even worse. If there's gonna be a Golly Sop at turn one. Okay, I survived. That's fine. And also fair enough. Let's go for one Remoride. Let's play that Ultra Ball for Mellow and Octillery. Into the... Um, let's grab that Vulpix. Let's grab that Vulpix. I guess I can go with the Guzma here and just use Beacon. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm actually gonna do that. I, ha I have Rescue Stretcher next turn for that Octillery, so I might just avoid to play that end. Um, what about Vulpix and one more Vulpix? So I can have like four Vulpix in play. And then I just need one Ninetals, so I can start to apply some pressure to my opponent and spread the damage around the board. So there is a Guzma for my Vulpix with the Energy, or it might be for the Remoride. Oh, he decided to go for the Vulpix with the Energy card. Okay, so definitely Goldie Sopper can knock him out. Um, but it's not a big deal, mainly because I can easily recover that Energy with the Aqua Patch. So, oh, okay, 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 there is a Zorua for the Zorark, and the first impression for like 140. 
um, basically I need to find a way somehow to avoid one hit knockout from the Zoro arc and in order to avoid the knockout I can have maximum two Pokemons, actually three Pokemons on my bench um, let's see, with the Mallow theoretically now let's just ignore Mallow, let's go with a Beazel Hand okay, Phil Blower I guess it worth a lot to discard those float stones and more than that, it's definitely time for the M I hope I'm not gonna stack with Octillery in the front Ooh, really? No Ninetals? Oh, come on, what is going on here? Brooklet Hill. I have like two Ninetals and one Ninetals GX. So many Crushing Hammers and Enhanced Hammers, but they're not usable right now. Yeah, I guess I should go with the Mellow simply for the Float Stone and for the Ninetals. So I can have that retreat into the Ninetals and protection from GX attack but of course I didn't do that another end from my opponent oh there is enhanced hammer, ah DCE, okay okay so yeah say goodbye to Octillery um, never mind for that never mind for that, let's just find a way to get that ninth in play Energy, Brooklet Hill for another Remoride. And. Actually, time for the Sycamore. Somebody gotta explain me what is going on here. Um, Ultra Ball, Brooklet Hill. And I guess one copy of Aqua Patch into the Ninetals for now I'm not playing any other card from my hand I'm just hitting my opponent with that Aurora Beam for like the 80 and that's it um, basically actually for 60 because of that um, damage press or whatever the name of the attack is armor press damage is reduced for like 20 and it's time definitely for my opponent to catch that Ultra Ball and to grab his aura and put him in a play so with a double core's energy, he can technically have that mind jack for like a hundred. Still striking me for like a hundred will not be enough for the knockout. So he needs to find a way to go to go at least for one hundred and ten. Professor Kukui can fix that, but I'm not sure if he ran that in his build. Also, Hex Maniac can definitely help him a lot here to knock me out even with a Golly Sopod. But how do things looking right now? I'm definitely in very comfortable position. And he decided to stand in. The question is, will he decide to retreat and maybe play the way to get maybe Lysander or something like that? So he decided to go with the Sycamore for 7. Alright, 1 Max Potion and Energy discarded. How many energies right now he have in his discard pile? 5. Okay, another Ultra Ball. Okay, Guzman Bridge discarded for another Zerua. So probably he noticed right now, well, there is a huge threat on the other side. Oh, I think he played post rotation deck, so there is no way that he can actually knock at my Ninetals with a single shot. So speaking about knuckle with a single shot, let's just play a couple Aqua Patches here. Alright. Of course, DCE attachment, a floatstone play, and one huge Sycamore for seven. There is Octillery, and there is a Lolan Ninetals, who can spread the damage on the bench. And guess what? I'm definitely gonna go with that. Oh, 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 wait for a moment, wait for a moment, maybe... Another Aqua Patch, theoretically. Nope, but Crushing Hammer can help. Yep, it can definitely. What else do we have in deck? Um, one Ninetals, two Crushing Hammers, Aqua Patch, Guzma. 
Um, yeah, definitely. I'm thinking about striking my opponent with my Ice Blade for like a 50 down to his Zorark. So I can have knockout against that Zorak next turn. He is a huge threat right here, no question about it. Since he have that choice bent, well, he can go for like 200 damage counters. Striking with 200, not not gonna not gonna be enough for the one hit knockout against my Ninetales. That's for sure. So I can just use my Ice Blade GX and transfer those damage counters back to him. All right, all right. Sycamore for seven. Let's see. Oh, Guzma discarded with two top Olelas. And there is a field blower. Okay, so I lost my second Flowstone, I think. Oh, no, I still have one. Okay, that's good. Um, energy attachment stand in, retreat for 120 well that's a lot of damage counters with just a single energy card which means if i can find guzma uh, oh actually 170 Ooh, really that's a lot of damage counters my friends that's like a lot of damage counters i mean really it is so definitely time here to attach my water energy to my nine tools Brooklet Hill more than nothing. I don't need anything here. I just need my Abyssal Hand to see what I can find with it. Aqua Patch and Ultra Ball. Okay. Um, Ice Pad GX for the knockout. 170. That's it. Two price cards for me. There is a Sycamore and another Crushing Hammer. Very important Crushing Hammer, of course. Retreat down to his Zoro Arc. And, well, another Wimput. Attached retreat to the Golly Sopod, and this will be another 140 this time. Ooh, that's a lot of damage counters. That's a huge amount of damage counters. Um, yeah, I guess I can Crushing Hammer. I guess I can one more time play Crushing Hammer. This time is heads, so it's successful heads on the coin flip. Um, hmm. One risk of treachery is in my Discord pile. I think, personally, that I can go for another Nintels here. So I'm thinking about playing something like Energy Discardment and one copy of Sycamore into the Nothing. And then with the rescue stretcher I can I can better shuffle those Pokemons back into my deck. Yeah, probably you all can notice one thing. I'm searching for that Guzma here. I'm searching for that Guzma here and I didn't find a way to find um okay. Anyways, um, Phil Blower can definitely help. And more than that, Blizzard Edge can go for like 160. If he can find a Max Potion, it's okay, but he already have two of them in the Discord pile. More than that, I also saw like three floatstones and three guzmas in his discard pile so i'm definitely comfortable also six energies in his discard pile so only double cores energy can help him to go for the hundred here with the zorark um okay so interesting there is another floatstone and that was like a fourth floatstone here so he played like four copies of floatstone here and there we go with the n and is actually very good for me especially if i can find guzma um, but I can't, at least not for now, but I have double course energy, which is very important. First impression for the knockout, of course, 140 again. And it's time to promote my Nintels and hit hard my opponent. Plus I also have Melov. Um, let's go with the Brooklet Hill first. Crushing Hammer, I don't need it. Um, but I can put another Woolpix on the bench. One, two, 
three, four, five. Double cores energy attachment. This might be a bad decision for me. Mellow for Crushing Hammer and Guzma. I still have one energy available. Aurora Beam for the knockout. 110. Okay, so Nine Tools and Brooklyn Hill. Still no sign of the. Okay, yeah, second flowstone is already attached on my Octillery. Um, so can he find a way somehow to knock out my Nintles? If not, next turn, um, yeah, I can go for 80 max. I have how many Guzmas? One second one is priced. Ah, uh, yeah, one more Guzma. So he will definitely try to power up that Oranguru so he can respond. Oh, he actually did me a huge favor here. I think he did. Can I get heads on the coin flip? Yes, I can. Um, Brooklyn Hill for nothing. I mean, I'm just hitting him right now for like 110. And basically next turn, if he cannot heal damage counters, I can grab that Guzma pretty much easily. And that's it. That's the GG, I mean. If you cannot go through the Luminous, bla uh, luminous Barrier, um, you're definitely gonna have a hard time winning a match. Especially if your opponent can limit uh, damage output with a Mind Jack. So right now he can he's capable to go for like 100 with a Mind Jack, but that's it. Um, well, another Ultra Ball for nothing, fail to search. Yeah, he really tries to find maybe a way to get that DCE for the Zoroark so he can stand in and hit for like a hundred. That's the thing what he's looking forward to do. Um, so he played that instruct. We are both really, very, very, oh, oh, Acerola, okay, but... That can, that can help him just for a little bit. Um... Again, I can abyssal hand into the Guzma. And of course, I'm gonna play Guzma for the knockout against that Wimpud. Um, let's just retreat into the Nine Tools. And Aurora Beam for 80. So I'm down to one prize card. And there's another Water Energy card. Okay, Zorak promoted in the front. Still, he can go for like a hundred max. I have two more Nintels available. And I think that this is just the moment. This is just... Um, question of time when my opponent will either way deck out or lose his last Pokemon. He's down to like five cards. I have like three available and five in my hand, so he's definitely gonna read uh, deck out before me, that's for sure. But mainly, he decided again to stand in and retreat, maybe down to Oranguru. Nope, just another stand in, okay, that's just interesting. Um... Yeah, Tapu Koko and Sycamore left. Okay, hitting just for 80. I don't need to rush anywhere. I mean, I have that end available, so that end will give me like 5-6 extra turns. So, yeah, I think I will have enough damage output with my Nintels. Retreat down to Lorantis. so right now it's time for the Lorantis to take some punishment. And he decided to evolve that Golisop, but for me it's definitely good and better to see my opponent um, discarding his resources. Or playing his resources, whatever you want that. Um, 
I'm gonna definitely keep those energy cards in my hand because never know, maybe he can just license or install my artillery. So I really want to have those energy attachments available. And Olympia into the Azor arc probably, or maybe just to the oh to the Goli Sawpod. Okay. He passes the turn. I played my M. So I'm going down to like six cards, but he is going down to like three cards. And I'm playing my Aurora Beam, hitting his goalie support for like 110, and I'm still waiting to see what he can do here. I mean, pretty much nothing. Again, he can just retreat down to the Oranguru, and that's that's it. So there's a field blower. So I was very scared about that field blower play, and maybe um, Lysander down to my Octillery. Uh, but yeah, he have like two more cards left, so either way he's gonna deck out and that's it Even if he decide to play Lysander down to my artillery, I don't need to do anything I can just pass my turn and wait my opponent deck out. So um, very interesting definitely deck um, Very nice approach to him. So that Ninetales is very very disruptive especially with the energy discardment and he decided to concede so yeah, I mean Definitely very good deck. It's a cheap, as you can see, it's it's a very cheap deck. I mean, the most expensive card inside is a Tapu Koko. He's like six bucks a piece, and anything else is very cheap. I mean, Aqua Patches, Crushing Hammers, Enhanced Hammers, Field Blowers, anything else is very very cheap. So, as you can see, deck works just pretty well, and I managed to beat my opponent pretty much easily. So. Um, GX is here just to help a little bit um, or maybe just to finish the game with that Ice Pad and Blizzard Edge uh, but most importantly that Luminous Barrier is going to be very very hard to beat um, in a future um, standard format. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos if you have any questions don't forget to leave comments below so yeah stay tuned for more upcoming videos till the next time have a nice day and goodbye